what I'm doing right now is cutting the tabbing wire for my solar panels. I have half a solar panel done now. I'm doing the other half tonight. Half a solar panel is 18 cells, so I need 36 pieces of tabbing wire. You can see here I have this marked off in a previous video. I described that. It's very convenient if you're going to be making a bunch of solar panels. Now I've got my Saturn iron heated up. Um, this is all off-grid. I'm making solar panels using off-grid power from solar panels. Sort of cool. So I, I place a weight on here. You're not supposed to touch the cells so much. So uh, I place a weight down here carefully. They're fragile, so be careful. But I put it down there so I don't have to touch the cell at all. And I just want to get these a little bit of solder on here. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. If you buy flux, you can do this even better by just putting flux on your cells. But I have a lot of solder and I have no flux, so I pre-solder my cells. These are all chipped, broken solar cells. They all have small flaws. But they work fine. They were very inexpensive, though. Now what I'm going to do is fasten the tabbing wire to the solar cell. I use my weight again here to help me out. Now this tabbing wire is already pre-tinned, so it makes my job a bit easier. All I had to do was tin the cells ahead of time. And I use a little solder just to make it go smooth. It goes very fast if you use just a little bit of solder as you work. Now you don't have to. A lot of people just uh, use a flex pin and flex everything and use pre-soldered tabbing wire some people don't even need solder. That goes very smooth and quick. Now I'm just going to put some solder on the back side of the cell so that the tabbing wire will stick for the next step. Goes very fast. Again, just get some solder on there. Now the next thing, just make sure the camera angle is proper, this will be a little bit harder to see, but I'm going to string the cells together now in a row, and I'll zoom out. Now we use plain old scotch tape. Position yourselves nicely.
and you want to make a string of I do six cells because my solar panels are designed to have six in a row but it depends on your the setup you choose now I've got my solar cells taped together six of them now what I do I use my weight again I keep my solder strung out a long way and I'm just going to attach tabbing wire to the back sides of the cells I use the weight to hold it in place now I have one left and I'm going to cut the wire a bit shorter for this one just a bit longer than the solar cell because this is the end wire I'm putting the weight nearly right on top of the square pad that I'm soldering onto. And what that does is it holds it right down tight for me so I get a very solid and flat connection. So there's another set of six. I have all of my solar cells soldered together. And tomorrow I'll put them on the frame that I prepared and finish my solar panel.